Hi, it's me, Alex, from Weedem Sanchez, our channel, you probably know. Um, today I'll be reviewing the Nickelodeon Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles fish face figure from Playmate. But first, I'll, if y'all are asking why is Natalie not here, well, because she's filming it. And some videos are going to have me by myself, and some videos are going to have her by herself. I'm right here, guys. Yeah. Say hi to them. I can't say hi. <laughs> Just say it. Well, hi, guys. <laughs> so, Fish Face, I'll be doing review of the toys, of all their toys I have, and the ones I keep on getting. So, Fish Face was a human known as Zether, who was also partnered with Chris Bradford that mutated into Dog Pound, and he mutated, and Zether mutated into Fish Face. Now, here's his bio card. We get a nice picture of Fish Face. His name, and it says, Shredder's Underworld Underwater Thug. There's a picture of Fish Face, and his bio reads, A thug with no equal. Fish Face was once Zether, a street urchin recruited by the Foot Clan for his incriminal criminal skills. Mutated by the crane, this crook's even become even more crooked, thanks to his hybrid body. Forced to rely on powerful robotic legs, and an external water breathing rig. Fish face may be a fish out of water, but that doesn't stop him from being the turtle's most cutthroat enemy. His weapons are venomous jaws and a sword and knife, and his team is the Foot Clan. Now, on the actual figure, his design is that he's basically a fish without legs, so Baxter Stockman created these robotic mouser legs for him, and a breathing apparatus that's pumping water to where his gills will be so he can fight the turtles on land. The paint job is actually pretty nice on this guy. Unlike the other figures, he got a pretty decent amount. Playmates did a good job with this figure. Like, if you look at Krang, you can see that they have horrible articulation, not that much paint. This guy actually has. has. His breathing apparatus is a very... Very colorful orange, and like his hands and his head, and his big fin is like a vi is a violet red color. He has this black shirt with some crane tech on it, and his robotic legs are a silver, shiny silver, with again the robot buttons. These two are actually just stickers. And his tail is also the same color as his, the rest of his body. His teeth are white. Under his mouth is white. His belly button is white in that area. And inside his mouth is black. Now, for articulation, you kind of expect that he could open his mouth because on the pe on the bio it says his one of his weapons is venomous jaws. So you kind of that's kind of bummed out. So articulation, his his head moves left and right. It doesn't move too good because of the breathing thingy, the this. And if you move it a little bit too far, you could actually break those. But the arms have pin and sockets, so they rotate all the way around and go in and out. He also rotates at the width, at the width risk for like some punching action, like. <laughs> He also rotates at the waist for 360. Also rotates at the tail 360. And his legs just kick up and back, front and back. So not overly articulated as the turtles, but you can still get some good poses out of this guy. For accessories, he comes with one, this big, huge, wait, sorry. Huge, side sore looking thing. And then, his second accessory comes with the little dagger flippy thingy he uses. These can fit nicely in either one of his hands. Very good. Very nicely. Well, he, he, it, he doesn't have knee joints. He doesn't have elbow joints. That's kind of... That's kind of bum about about these figures, but you know, if you already know these toys, you know what to expect. 
So, here's Fish Face holding his two weapons. Also, to mention that he doesn't, his legs are kind of molded one further than not, and one is further than another. This one is further than this one. I do not know why it's like that, but he got yellow eyes with a black paint for his eye thing. So you can get some good poses like, yeah! Now, here's some pictures of him being posed. <laughs> I hate turtles. That's my fish face voice. Now, for a size comparison, here's fish face. And here's also a figure I'll be reviewing with this same line. Muted Man, or Timothy, whatever. You can see that fish face is actually taller than Timothy. Well, because of this fan. Fish face is one of the biggest villains. Not too big, but still big. Now, just look at them close. You can see that fish face is taller than him. Yes, not so you can say something. Oh, oh. Mm. Actually, you can find us usually at Walmart or Target and somewhere else. The they price depends on from eight eighty eight to ten twelve bucks. Which, yeah, eight eighty eight is a good price for these figures. If you're a turtle fan and you like these figures, and if you're collecting the new wave, the new tur the new figures, or if you dig the the new show, good show by the way, you should. I recommend picking up Fish Face. Sorry, my sister has her hand in the way. So, I'll be also reviewing Muted Man and everybody else. Stay tuned for him. He has water. By the way, we'll mention, we'll talk about more of that when I review with the guy. He is now part of Wave 2 along with Metalhead and Dog Pound. So, bye guys. Stay tuned for more reviews. Bye. Toodles. Subscribe. Subscribe and comment down below. Thanks. Thank you. Thanks for the subscribers. Bye.